Hi everyone, in our last lesson, we talked about scheduling a meeting. In this lesson, we're gonna talk about launching a Zoom meeting in the interfaces that you'll use while you're doing your meetings. First, we're gonna launch our meeting. As you can see here, we have our upcoming meeting tab, our meeting, and over here we can click Start to start our meeting. Zoom's gonna bring us to a launch screen and ask us if it's okay if it opens Zoom for us. And we're gonna click openzoom.us. It's gonna take us to our next screen that's gonna ask us how we'd like to join our audio. You can join with your computer audio or if you have a microphone. You can also do test your speaker and microphone. I recommend this if you're unsure about whether your microphone is working properly um, and it also will test the speaker to make sure that you can hear the attendees if they have questions. Next we're going to get into our main screen and we're going to see our main toolbar that we'll use to get started. This is my toolbar and I have got into my settings and I've actually added a few things and customized mine. So you'll see down here, we have our audio settings and this is where we can turn our microphone on and off. Our video settings where we can turn our webcam on and off. An invite option if we'd like to invite additional attendees. Manage participants. If you click here, it'll bring up a pop-up window to show you all the attendees that are currently in your meeting. Share screen is what you click on to share the screen that you want to share with your audience, and we'll talk about that here a little bit next. There's a chat room option that you can launch. Your record options. There is a closed captioning option. Now I will tell you this closed captioning option isn't what you think. You actually have to designate a captioner in your class that will manually type your captioning. Um, so this isn't a true captioning system, but it is there if you'd like to use it. Zoom does have breakout room options that you can use for group discussion and projects. And I went ahead and added reactions just for fun. Um, if you'd like to close out your meeting, this is how you end your meeting here. Click there and it'll ask you if you'd like to leave and you're done with your meeting. If you decide to share your screen from here, you will get this option and this will show you all your available um, sharing options that you have. Currently, I'm sharing my desktop. There is a whiteboard option. You can share your iPads or iPhones or other tablet devices. You can choose to just share the applications that you have open. I have Chrome open, or if you had Word or Adobe Acrobat open and you'd like to share a document, you have the option of sharing only that if you choose. When you've made your selection, hit the share button in the bottom right corner. Once you're sharing, you'll get a different set of menus. Um, your menus will pop up on the top of the screen, but they will also be movable. So if you'd like to pull them to the bottom of the screen and they do disappear. So when you're working in your screen, they're not in your way. Um, to get this here, this menu here, this is our annotation tools. So when you click on the annotate button, this toolbar will show itself for you so that you can annotate on your screen. You also have an additional drop down menu for more options where you can launch your chat, invite people, um, choose your record options, captioning, breakout rooms, disable um, the ability of your attendees to annotate on your screen or end your meeting. When you're done sharing, you can hit the stop share button. And this will take you back to your main screen and your main menu where you can chat with your students or end your meeting. If you ever need to go in and change your settings and you do wanna add some additional functionality to your toolbar or to how you run your meetings, you can log in to your Zoom account through cfc.zoom.us and do your sign in to configure your account. It will take you to your main profile page and within there you can go to your settings menu and make additional settings changes to your account.